cost the same. First, we're both stand a plate and some. Hey, you guys, this is Coffee, and today I am going to be showing off the new house that I put together for uh, what is the word I'm thinking of here? Um, <laughs> for the Black Widow Challenge. Uh, the Hunger Games is not going to debut again until next Friday. I do apologize for any of you guys waiting on that series. I'm having some serious technical difficulties with it and I have to go in and actually like redo some stuff and I really just didn't have time because I have family visiting this weekend so I decided to put this video up for you guys because I know a lot of you have really been enjoying this series so I do apologize like I said for anybody that waits for that series it will resume next Friday um, anyways this is the house for the Black Widow challenge in the last episode I told you guys that I was going to be redoing the house and yeah yeah so I think you guys are really gonna enjoy the inside of this house because there's a lot of custom content involved so I'm really excited to show that off to you I wanted to kind of give you a peek of the outside before we did anything else so this that was like the front area. There's kind of this little attachment right here, which you'll see what that is in a second. And then there's also a back patio in the back. Lots of windows and natural light from the outside, which I thought was super awesome. Um, there's like a back, what do you call that? A back porch, I guess. And yeah, so that's that is the house. We're in the same lot that we were in before. I still have to add the graveyard back to the house. I just haven't figured out where I'm going to put it yet. So um, there is no graveyard at the moment. Oh man, there's a rug sticking out right there. I will have to fix that in a few. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but um, so yeah, that's the outside view. I'm going to go ahead and show you from the top and then we'll just go down and then I'll kind of try to get a little bit closer to some things so you can see all of it. The story behind this kind of is kind of, I don't know why I said that. The story behind this is that, um, you know, Ramona, super, super sad, really depressed, really distraught over the death of Don more so than any of the other husbands that she had had, because she really did love him. And Isla has come to visit, as you guys remember from the last episode, she is, um, she has convinced Ramona to renovate the entire house with all of her money. And that's kind of was I Isla's specialty in the all-in-one series is she really was good with interior design stuff, even not having her own personal identity and own personal style. She was really good with that stuff. So she convinced Ramona to go and do the same and kind of make more room for everyone. So there's like a guest area for Isla. There's room for the kids. There's a room for Ramona. And eventually they're going to add a basement or she will add a basement in secret for her next love affair. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, let's see. Can I? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think I can do a top down unless I do it. How is I don't even know how to do that in this game. Like, I just don't know how to mess with the camera to make me to make it do it. I can zoom in and zoom out, but that's that's about it. But we can do it this way with the tab. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, so looking at this, oh my goodness, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Looking at this from the top, um, there in the the very tippy top up there where the big bed is, and it's like all pink and stuff, that is Ramona's room with the little bathroom in there. There's her son's room, which is done up in blue and green, and then her daughter's room, which is all pink as well, the smaller room down there that's pink. And the bathroom is also pink. The whole house, you guys are gonna see, has a very girly theme to it. And that is because Isla was like, you know what, I got all this red and black, I need to just change everything. And her looks are gonna be next on the list. But she decided to just totally purge her entire home and just go for a completely different feel. She needed a new identity, a new everything. So uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a quick view first like this where we just kind of look at it from the top down and then I will actually go in and show you all the little minor details if you're interested in that. Um, I think it will be worth your while because like I said there's a lot of custom pieces in here that are really awesome. So um, as you can see there's the living room, the kitchen, that little area back here. 
There's a little tiny guest bathroom, like it's like a half bathroom that's got a toilet and a sink. There's a dining area. And then over here, there's kind of a little guest house off to the side. Uh, there's no kitchen or anything, but there's at least a bed and there's a little bathroom in there. So that is basically the big overview of the house. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys into the rooms individually so you can actually see what is all in here. We're gonna get all nosy up close and personal in the rooms. Um, actually, let me go ahead and turn, can I turn the lights on? Turn down for what? Um, whoops, let me go ahead and uh, turn on all lights. Oh, are you guys all on? Did I have to push play? No, I guess they were already all on. Okay, my bad. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So this is the dining area and it's got, it's kind of has, it's definitely got girly touches to it with like the pinks, purples, grays. I tried to keep it all really girly with a lot of pastel and neon colors as well as keeping all the neutral colors really neutral like not really throwing anything loud out there just keeping it neutral and or really feminine so this is the dining area um coming out of the dining area let's go ahead and wander into this tiny bathroom so that's pretty much it i didn't even decorate the walls in here because it's it's literally just a little guest bathroom um, staircase. This is the beautiful kitchen. I am very happy with the way that this kitchen turned out. I even added like a bar, which is something I have never done. Um, there's this awesome, check this out, you guys. Look at this little coffee nook right here. Isn't this adorable? There's like this little coffee rack with like different cups. I really like that because my husband and I are coffee mug collectors. So I thought that that was super cool. Next to the coffee machine, of course. Uh, moving over here, I have some custom couches and um, there's like the custom magazine. There's a custom coffee cup. There's a little custom end table. This Ikea piece, I still need to add decorations to it. Like I think you can actually store stuff in the little cube shelves and stuff. But um, there's just this awesome little Ikea shelf. And literally, Ikea has a shelving unit just like this for a TV. There's a little basket for some pillows and or blankets. I don't think I have any custom blankets to put in there, though. So it's just pillows right now. Um, and that's basically the living room and kitchen area. Let's, oh, this too, sorry, I forgot right here. There's this good standard goods, little like bags, some candles, some little custom books. Um, I don't know, I think that might be a mouse pad, but I just put it there because I thought it was cute. So that is all of that. Let's go ahead and travel together over to Isla's bedroom. So that would be this in here. It's like, I like it because it's totally detached from the house. So when you come in, this is what her room looks like. It has some of those same paintings from the dining area. The bedding and pillows are really feminine. Um, Stockholm, London, Paris, Milano, Berlin, Barcelona, New York. There's that little custom painting. Another little custom. Oh, I just realized that this is like a Ferris wheel. I thought it was a dandelion. Uh, and then there's just an arch that leads into the bathroom, which I figured because this is made for just one person that it would be acceptable just to have an arch leading into the bathroom. So that is where Isla stays and the room has like a blue feel to it, which is very oceanic, like how Isla would have liked. She had a lot of say in doing that room. Let's go ahead and travel upstairs together and I will show you, oh, I guess I have to <laughs> I have to actually go up a level. There we go. No, stop it. Okay, sorry. Having some control issues. <laughs> um, let me actually go all the way up. Can I do that? Does that? No, that doesn't work. I actually have to do it this way. No? Sorry, I'm having some issues here. No, I can do it this way. It's cool. We cool. We cool. Okay, so... Sorry, the, the controls are not cooperating. So here is the staircase. When you come up, there's some nice little railings around it just to you know keep the children from not falling down. Um, Blair is up here currently. She has just walked upstairs to go check out her brand new bedroom. Um, the hallway has this awesome little 
painting thingy if you see it's like breakfast at tiffany's kind of kind of got like an old chic shabby chic feel to it i think i have those in um in what's her face's bedroom i cannot think of her name right now oh my gosh ramona ramona has those paintings in her bedroom too which you guys will see so going directly off this way so we have the bathroom in the middle and i'll show you that first so this is the bathroom that the children share let me get a little lower here there's this awesome little sink bowl that's custom um some rugs from get to work are in here there's a shower bath combo there's a little toilet behind the wall which i like the way that that is designed just because i don't know if you like walk in you don't instantly see someone on the toilet uh going back out to the hallway and going into the do 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 right this would be this would be Derek's room uh, I have it set up to where when he gets a little bit bigger he will be able to grow into his bed and his room doesn't really have a theme except for like blue and green I guess I don't really feel like I put as much thought into his room as I maybe should have but his bassinets in here he's got um, a little stack of books over there he's he I think is gonna be our nerdy kid so I've got like a little genius symbol on there and yeah yeah, that's his bedroom going over to Blair's bedroom I really really like her room I feel like I went pretty all out with her bedroom so it's very pink everything is pink everything everything pink there's um, love you more than all the stars and it's like a chalkboard back there with some lights uh, there's this tree uh, lamp there's this awesome little canvas painting thingamajigger there's a little crate with some extra pillows her bed with extra she has like extra pillows on her bed too with this pink rug and she also has some tulips that um you know the transition has been pretty difficult with um not having a father figure around so you know ramona always makes sure that she spoils her little girl and um also she just had her birthday so those were a gift so going out of her bedroom the last room in the house is ramona's room and her room I think I'm not sure which room in the house is my favorite actually so there's still some of those common paintings that you guys have seen around we have a little seating area right here there's a pillow under that chair that I need to delete um, there's a seating area at the foot of her bed and then we have her bed she has her dual end table she has a little area where she keeps clothes and shoes those same paintings again there's a geometric painting on top flamingo curtains and then again with the arch leading into the bathroom i didn't put anything on the walls in here yet so we're that's still a work in the progress but same kind of pink feel to the bathroom which i thought was very nice she has a nice jetted tub and a shower because you know master bath um and that i think is it except for the backyard which is not this way <laughs> um we're gonna go around and i'll show you guys the back patio and stuff and then that will kind of conclude the house tour and everything which that's all this episode is really supposed to be is just me going over the new house digs uh, because I really hadn't done that for you guys yet. So um, there is a little pool back here. Somebody wrote in the comment section on the last episode that she was like, you have the money, you should get Blair a pool. So uh, we got a pool installed for the kiddos. As they get bigger, they'll have a nice pool to come hang out in. There's a nice grill, a little patio seating area with an umbrella for them. And I'm not sure where we're going to stick the graveyard yet. Um, we're going to have to figure that out. But yeah, this is the house. I hope you guys liked it. If you want this lot, actually, before I leave, let me show that to you guys. I'm going to open up the gallery real quick and do, 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 do. So I searched lots, favorites of all time. I went to advanced 30 by 20, and then I searched the hashtag for bed. Why is that not... That's really weird. There we go. Okay, so I searched hashtag for bed custom content on, and it is this house, I believe, right here. It's the Sand Trap Flat by Spoopy Simmer. 
and I basically took the house and just gutted the whole thing. I added a little bit more space to the master bedroom, which is this one right here. And yeah, so this is what the original looks like. And like previously stated, I just kind of gutted the house, changed it from there. But um, yeah, that's that is that i hope you guys like the house i'm gonna I, i'm not going to upload the house to the gallery just because i feel like i shouldn't be allowed to do that that is the property of spoopy simmer even though i have redone it um so i'm not gonna do that if you would like the house you can get that house on the gallery and then just redecorate accordingly um anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed seeing what their new home looks like i look forward to filming future episodes like next wednesday actually there'll be a new episode i look forward to next wednesday actually getting to film in this house and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next episode this is coffee don't forget to follow me over on instagram and twitter i am at coffee yt this is coffee signing off